been a while since I've told a story about anything, honestly. And sorry, the lighting is kind of sh**. Uh, this light's honestly pretty crap, but you know, it is the best thing I could do. If it was during the daytime, it'd be way more better, but most of my story times were during the night, but you know. Anyways, guys, this is about a story of how I got attacked at the skate park. Or correction, me and my friend got attacked. And if you're wondering how all of that happened, you might as well just watch this video because it'll be pretty entertaining, maybe, if you guys like these videos or not. <sighs> God damn, I'm sorry about that. This was, I think, at least a year ago, maybe a little bit, almost a year ago, I think like maybe like a few months, I'm gonna be honest. I think it was a year ago, I don't know. But we're just running around, just doing our own thing. It's me, it's not just me and my friend, it's a couple other people there as well. And this kid shows up, and to be fair, he is autistic, so it was like, okay. We're just gra gradually just doing our own thing, and then, uh, to be honest, we decided to, uh, well, I didn't really, I mean, honestly, I just jumped in. Uh, we decided, hey, let's have a little fun with this guy. Nothing violent or anything happened, trust me. We're not assholes or anything like that. Okay, all jokes aside, all jokes aside. We didn't do anything that was violent or anything. We're not like that. But anyways, uh, it was during some time last year, and we're all just riding around the skate park. It was me, Dom, and a couple other people as well. And then this one kid shows up, and before I say anything, he was autistic, so we was like, okay. And he's just doing his own thing, just walking around the skate park, just, you know, just checking out the place. And then uh, we decide to, you know, you know, say what's up, all that kind of stuff. And then we also decide, hey, you know what? We're bored anyway, so let's have fun at the skate park, you know what I'm saying? And then there were times to where, like, he would chase one of us around the skate park. Like, if you were trying to, like, uh, like, uh, be, like, what's it called? Tag. Yeah, tag. He would try to act like he was playing tag. So, so we're like, okay, if, if he's enjoying himself, then let's enjoy ourselves too, and let's just, you know, it's not fun, you know what I'm saying? But, there were to be some more times where like he would sit down, he would grab on his chest, acting like he was having like a heart attack or something. But the thing is, he did mention that he did have asthma, so I did personally feel bad. So then I was like, you know, I feel like we should probably, you know, maybe calm down, you know? And then whatever happened, like some sort of like, I don't know, it was like a switch something that went off in his head, but he got pissed. Or ticked off, if you want to do that with that profanity. But I don't know if it was me, if it was Dom, or any, or any of the other people that were there. But I'm pretty sure I know for a fact it wasn't me, because I really wasn't doing that much. So, casually, I'm just riding my scooter, and act like, act like this is the ramp, right? Dom's right here on the, uh, on the corner of it, and I'm just right here. I, uh, ride my scooter up the ramp, and me and Dom are just talking. And then here comes, uh, the autistic kid, and he starts running up the ramp. And the look he had on his face, he was definitely pissed off. Like I said before... I didn't know if it was me, I didn't know if it was Dom, I didn't know if it was anyone else. Honestly, I don't know why he was so mad. But to be honest, he did have a bit of autism in him, so I was like, okay, I understand, because like sometimes like when you do have autism, sometimes like you can't think straight sometimes. I have an uh, autistic uncle as well, so you know, it does make sense. No offense to any autism people out there, I'm just saying. But anyways, he looks at me like he's, and like he wants to tear my face off. He looks at me like he wants to tear my face off, like gradually just rip my head right off. And, uh, and I look at him, I'm like, are you good, dude? Like, are you okay? But he just doesn't say anything. And then once he does that, he grabs my shirt and tries to grip me up. I grab his hand and I get him off me. I'm like, dude, wh what, personally, what are you doing? And then he's trying to grab me again. He keeps trying to grip me up. And then I'm like, dude, please don't. Please don't touch me, you know, because to be honest, I don't want to be touched. And then Dom's behind me, and then he's trying to, like, pull me away from him. He's like, yo, dude, calm down, calm down, calm down. He's trying to push him away from me. And then once he does that, he ducks his head down. And my hand's right here. He ducks his head down, acts like he's trying, and tries to bite me. He ducks his head down, tries to bite me. And then I'm like, okay, I don't know what kind of vampire or some kind of Dracula you're on. I don't know if your father's Dracula or some shit. But please, don't try to bite me, <laughs> honestly. I actually pushed him, because because I didn't want him to bite me, obviously. And, and before you guys say anything, oh, oh, you leave your hands on an autistic kid. Okay, he was trying to bite me. I had to push him off me. I mean, I can't just let him bite me. 
I'm not trying to get like, I don't know, but whatever. But let's see, if he were to have like a disease, I would have caught that. Too bad. I, I, I try to get all that. So then he pulls me off, and then I just back up for a second, and now he's dealing with Dom. And now this is where the most up shit happens. Oh, and before we even get to Dom, let's mention that he did hit me with a skateboard. He grabbed a skateboard, he hit me twice, so I think it was like right here somewhere. It was like right here on my arm. It really wasn't that bad of a bruise, but like it was like a pretty good scratch. He did hit me a couple times with it. I'm like, dude, like what are you doing? And me personally, I'm not going to hit an autistic kid. I'm not going to do that. Like even though like, he hit me, I'm not just going to hit him back. Because to be honest, it's fucked up to hit an autistic kid, you know what I'm saying? But if he were to bite me, I have every right to get him off me. You know what I'm saying? So now, he's dealing with Dom. And then this is probably to where... The most, and, and to be honest, I wish I had a video. I wish I had the video going or like some kind of picture of like how deep the f cut was. But basically, he ducks his head down and then he tries to bite, uh, bite Dom's hand. And to the point where he caught his hand. He is biting into it. Like, he's going like, hur, 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 like a fucking dog. And he's just biting the of him. And the thing is, he gets his teeth so deep inside of his hand, it looks like a f like like a vampire sub that just bit right into him and then he's like ow ow and i'm trying to push him off him but the thing is he just won't let go like he has a good grip of his hand so i'm like yo dude get off get off get off and then that came to the point where dom just burst out in tears because but let's be honest if someone were to bite your hand so hard to the point where like it's gonna make you cry i mean i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that would happen to anybody so then he gets off the ramp, I get off the ramp, and then the person that was watching him walks up and he's like, Yo, hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? And he's talking to him. And the thing is, he is shaking like crazy. Like, he's going like crazy. Like, he's going like this. And I'm like, okay, whatever happened to him, and to be honest, I was mad. I was mad, so like, it's like I started yelling at him saying, Yo, dude, what the f*** is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? And to be honest, I wouldn't, I, to, to be honest, I didn't really want to yell at him. Really, because like, it's really messed up just to yell at him, because... To be honest, he didn't really, like, exactly know what was going on. But to be honest, I was like, yo, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? And I wasn't thinking straight at that time. But to be honest, like, he can just go around biting people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is messed up to bite somebody. And then we're all just sitting there. And then one of the, uh, and one of the people that work at the, uh, or, like, owns a skate park was trying to call the cops on us. Think about it. Calls the cops on us. J even though we just got attacked. We, the thing is, they wanted to have, like, this case saying, oh, they were trying to fight an autistic kid, they were trying to lay their hands on him, they were trying to beat him up. We weren't trying to beat him up. He came at us, he bit my friend's hand, he, he, uh, he attacked me with a skateboard, which, clarify, yeah, yes, it was a skateboard. And then I honestly get really, really mad, and I, honestly, I get so pissed to the point where I'm just gonna go, boom. You know, it's like my head's like an explode or something. So then I'm just down the field, and and I got my mom on the phone. So I'm talking to her, I'm saying, Mom, Mom, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And then she tells me, get home now. And that's what I do. I'm about to hand my head home, uh, my way home. And the thing is, they were trying to get us to stay there until the cops showed up. And to be honest, I would have definitely stayed. But if, but if my mom told me I have to go, I have to go. I can't just disobey my mom like that. I'm pretty sure none of you guys would, would do that either. But, like, even though, like, if the cops are dude coming, you can't just run away acting like, you, acting like you did something so bad to where you have to run off. If my mom is telling me to leave, I'm leaving. Like, I'm gonna listen to what she tells me to do, you know? So then while, and honestly, I just ride away. Even though they tell me, no, you get back here right now. I'm just riding away saying, hell no, my mom is telling me that I have to go. And that's what I do. I'm just casually riding off. And then once I get to this, uh, up, up to the street and I'm about to just ride off. I, uh, I take a peek over at the skate park, and one of the guys is trying to, like, go inside their car, and, like, they're about to chase me. And then, uh, and, like, right after that, I asked my friend, was he trying to chase me? And then he said, well, he was going to. So I was like, oh, okay. So, and honestly, it looked like he was about to chase me, but thank God he didn't. Which would, which honestly be a good miracle, because if he was chasing me, to be honest, I'd be speeding off. And to be honest, I did speed off thinking that he was actually trying to chase me. And to be honest, I'm freaking the fuck out. Like, I got tears on top of my face. I mean, dude, if I'm being chased some, and by somebody, I'm darting off. Like, if it's someone I don't even know, I'm darting off. And I'm just freaking out. 
like in my head it's just like i'm going nuts so i'm just racing my way down the street and then once i get like halfway close to my house my mom pulls down the street uh, with her vehicle she pulls up beside me i get in and then she's like what happened what, what happened and then i tell her everything that happens and then whenever we get home i get a call from dom and then once i said hello and then his mom's on the line now i I don't know if I should say this next part, but, but like, I'll just say it now, but like, I won't say everything that happened. So she said, hey, are you okay? Is everything all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And then she did say, you know, it really wasn't a good idea to run away from the cops like that. Uh, I mean, not to run away from the cops, but to just run off like that when the cops are just showing up. In my head, I'm like, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that because it would have made me look way more suspicious. But, but I did tell her, my mom told me I had to come home, so I can't just disobey her like that. And then she understood. But then my mom did get kind of, uh, kind of tipsy about it, saying, why would she think that you're in the wrong here? And then I'm like, no, no, no. She was actually right, because I can't just, I can't just run off from the cops like that. But, but she did understand that if my mom's telling me I have to come home, then I'm coming home. Like, she understood that 100%. And then after that, we're all getting, we're all home, and my dad's pretty furious. But then after that, you know, I calmed down, uh, and then Don called me, so, and I was like, hey, are you okay? Is everything all right? How's your hand? And then he's like, yeah, it's pretty deep. So I was like, ugh, so that's probably not that good. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this story. I know there was a lot of stuttering in it, because to be honest, I'm not, I'm not really good when it comes to videos. I do stutter a lot, which that is a hard thing that comes along with this. But anyways, guys, um, <coughs> sorry about that. I'm gonna, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video. Like, subscribe. Um, if you want more story times, just let me know on my other social medias because the comments on my YouTube just doesn't work. Uh, I will post a video on all my social medias. Actually, not, maybe not all of them. I will post a, a video on all my social medias saying to come check out this video if you guys want to. Yeah, guys, uh, that's the story about how I got attacked. <laughs> and to be honest, if someone's attacking you, just honestly, just, just get out of there as best you can. Because, like, if someone is trying to, like, harm you, to be honest, I wouldn't. Like, if it comes to, it, it, to me, like, a grown-ass man, and you're probably, like, probably, like, an eight-year-old kid, and he's trying to attack you, just get out of there, okay? You don't want to get yourself involved and get hurt, you know? But even though it was an autistic kid, and even though he really wasn't that much older, and I felt like a couple years older. But I respect myself, I didn't hit him. All I did was push him off me, just so he didn't bite my hand. But, unfortunately, he did bite my friend's hand. Anyways, guys, peace out.